All right, welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to get SEO traffic without backlinks. Um, it'll be a very informative video and it's not a review today. So uh, trying out some new content for you guys and let's get started. So the best way um, we're going to have about four major tips for you. Now, this first one is going to be to leverage topical authority or uh, otherwise known as content clustering. So what this is, is you're going to cover as many to subtopics you can inside of your niche, right? Even if they are high competition uh, keywords and you most likely won't rank for them, um, and this is still good because uh, this sends Google the right signals that you are an authority in the niche, right? So if you have a niche website, and you just keep going with one off keywords, but you don't actually cover the entire topic as a whole, then Google uh, may uh, not value your site or your content as much as others that are covering the entire topic as a whole, right? So uh, we're going to be using camping in uh, this uh, video um, as an example. But um, if you were going to go after camping, of course, there's going to be keywords that you want to go after inside of that niche that you sh should be able to rank for uh, with um, hardly any domain authority. But you're going to need to cover the topic as a whole, right? And so we can we're going to go and look at this. But before we do that, uh, one strategy you can use for uh, to find these uh, topics and such um, is to <clears throat> cover this and, and go you can go over to answer the public um, you can also just type the main keyword into Google and go to people also ask section to find out what people want to know and um, what they're asking about this particular topic uh, you can also, so what you're going to want to do is um, use these questions um, as 500 to 1,000 word articles on your website. Um, or if you already have existing content, you can choose to put them in an FAQ or people also ask section at the bottom of that existing content and just make it like an FAQ section. So let's go and check some of these tools out. I have some tools. I will uh, be putting together um, a review on Keyword Cupid. But this is a keyword research tool and a topic clustering tool. They're going to go out and automatically uh, do a lot of the work for you. Um, I'm not going to read through all this stuff right here, but you're going to be able to cluster thousands of keywords. You can actually uh, paste those in from other keyword research tools. You could use Keyword Atlas, which I did a review recently on, and you can paste those in here. And then this will properly structure your entire website um, and tell you how you should actually build out the silos of your site, um, which is is really really cool we can go over here to how it works and such right so uh, it, you're going to have all these different uh, keywords a big giant list and then it's going to go in there and actually cluster these together and I have some other tools I'm going to show you that do this as well that you guys probably already have access to uh, but I will be doing a re review so make sure you like and subscribe subscribe to the channel because you will get my uh, full review um, on keyword cupid uh, but then at the end of the day, when you're building out your niche site, right, this is what you want it to be. If it's uh, SEO or maybe camping, then you're going to have your subtopics down here, right? And you can see that you're going to want to structure um, and tell people, well, if you want to learn about um, SEO copywriting, then uh, we have a section here. And then you can learn about even more stuff inside of that SEO copywriting. So it is a way topic clustering is just a, another um, way of saying, how are you categorizing the content on your website? And it's kind of putting, in my opinion, it's putting in one extra layer um, inside. Um, so you, on your home page, you can um, intelligently um, and make it really easily um, easy for your uh, viewers on your website to find the content they're looking for, right? So, because if someone lands on your SEO site and they're only interested in black hat techniques, um, it's really nice that you're going to be able to point them in that direction to your uh, the the content on your site. They want to learn about the PBN link building. They don't really care about all this other stuff. They don't care about the affiliate marketing. So they're not going to go to that section, but they are very interested in the black hat SEO. Okay. So you can also go and uh, go into uh, Writer's In, right? I know a lot of you have access to this right now. Now they have a Keyword Explorer um, section, which you can spend a lot of time in, but also um, don't forget about this topic discovery uh, section, right? So we can come in here and we can actually just type in camping right here and push search. 
And then that's going to go out there and cluster and uh, all these topics. It's going to tell you 1.5 million people per month typing in uh, camping. It's a really big uh, niche to get into. But what do you do, right? Uh, when you're building out your silo, well, camping hacks right here, um, that's going to be a really good one. Um, to make a camping hacks section on your site. And then it's going to even tell you all these different things you could put inside of there as well, but camping hacks, and then you have camping resorts, um, camping recipes, uh, camping, um, carry camping, something like that. And then you can also come up here and sort by search volume, just really see what the big ones are. So you can make an entire section just on Yellowstone camping on your site. So this is a really good tool to map out the siloing of your site. Um, you know, as you grow out your site and make it bigger, um, of course you can cover more of these topics, but when you're first getting started, you might want to just talk about, well, rock camping, or maybe this is big enough, 74,000 rock camping, could be an entire niche site on its own, but you have camping supplies. What do you need? Camping supplies, camping recipes, uh, meal can, uh, meals for camping, uh, something like that, right? And then canopy camping. Um, and then this is a good way to put in that, the, the highest, uh, broad, uh, topic or keyword, just camping. Um, and if you want to build a smaller niche site, this would work, right? You'd be able to come in here and you could build an entire site on canopy camping. If that is a thing. And if you think you can have enough traffic to the site, right? So super cool stuff. Writers in works really well. Then you can also come over here. You can go to answer the public, right? Just type that in Google and go to it. And then once we open this up, we'll be able to come over down here and just say camping and then push search. And then you're going to get all these different topics and questions, right? So on uh, which you're going to get, um, which camping stove, which camping gas is best, right? So you can start, um, adding all this stuff, um, as well, uh, to your site and so forth. Then you can come down, um, and actually look at it in a different way right here, um, by, by letter, or you can go, if you want to look at it from a data standpoint, which I like then you can come over here as, as well. And you can use these um, as topic clusters and to cover and leverage the topic authority. So the more of this that you include, all these questions that people are asking inside of your uh, niche camping, the more of these that you answer, even if one of these is extremely competitive, no way that you're going to rank for it, it it's still um, is valuable to put that information on your site because as a whole, when you look a year down the road, your site is going to stand um, a chance to rank far better for um, existing content and future content if you're covering the topic as a whole. I hope that makes sense. And then another thing you can do is go to Google and just type in your keyword camping, come down here to the people um, also ask section. What are the two types of camping, right? Um, is camping allowed? Uh, how do you define camping? And then um, when you click on one, more and more and more are going to open up more questions, right? So here's all the questions. This just goes, um, I really don't think that this even ends. You just keep clicking on things and you're going to get a million questions right here and just get a spreadsheet out and come up with like a hundred different topics that are, um, included. Um, and then you can go ahead, go ahead and start creating that content. Okay. So that brings us on to our next tip. So, uh, in order to get uh, traffic, SEO traffic without backlinks, uh, the next level keyword research methods um, are uh, you want to take not just doing basic keyword research, just typing in uh, camping in a keyword research tool and then seeing which ones say that are easy to rank and then boom, that is a strategy. But I think that that's rolling the dice a little bit um, and it's still uh, there's next level things that you can do um, to dive in a little bit further. We can cover as many topics. Uh, we can use tools like Ahrefs uh, if you actually actually have a uh, subscription. Um, I think it starts at like $100 per month. So a lot of people can't afford that when they're getting started, but that's okay. There's plenty of other sites you can use. Uh, Uber suggest you can use for free to get started. And then they also have some really, really good pricing, um, way, way more affordable uh, pricing that will do the, get the job done. In my opinion, it's definitely not as powerful as Ahrefs, but I have a lifetime subscription. I paid like 300 bucks for it and I ne never have to pay again. And it gets the job done for me. I am considering uh, going ahead and upgrading uh, to Ahrefs and paying $100 a month. That's where I'm at in my business, but you don't have to do that. And then I also carry a membership to Rank IQ. We'll look at all these just briefly. Um, and then you can use these to find sites with less authority than you currently have, right? 
um, or even if it's the same, uh, but are getting good monthly traffic to their site. Uh, you can basically use that information to reverse engineer their content and keywords and use this to your advantage, right? So here's Ahrefs, um, obviously, it gets um, seven and a half million visitors a month. Um, this gets used uh, people. Uh, it's a major SEO tool. Um, and then we can go over to um, Uber suggest right here. And I'm just going to go over to the keyword section, I will type in camping right here and then push search, right? And then you're going to get just camping as a whole, it's coming up with 1.5 million search volume. Uh, we have the SEO difficulty of 61. Um, and so forth, right? So um, now what you can do is you can actually click on the search of um, keyword keywords over here, then you can come down here. And what I like to do is go to search uh, difficulty and just go with easy. And then we'll go through here and start trying to find something that makes sense that we might want to go for. So like right down here, look at this camping lunch ideas. That looks like a good post that you might want to put on your site or just, it's, it's just interesting. Who's ranking for camping lunch ideas. Okay. It's getting 3,600 search volume per month. And this tool saying that it's 21, um, semi easy to go for. So I'm going to go ahead and click the search results button down here and scroll through here and just look. Um, so that has an average domain authority of 43. Uh, you probably don't have a domain authority of 43, but if you can find an outlier that is ranking in the top 10, right? Um, and we go over here to the domain authority down here, and then I go and look right here. So it's actually kind of cool to see that there is a site that only has a 39 and it's outranking domain authorities of 56, um, 83, 82. Um, I like to see that. It just uh, gives you um, you know, that little bit of hope and they only have seven backlinks. So this just tells you right now that it's the power of the backlink and not necessarily how many backlinks you have. It's going to allow you to go right up there. They are easy camping lunges. So it's not even fully uh, optimized for that keyword. Um, so then we're going to go down here and you can see right here that there's this 27. So let's say that you just for um, example purposes, let's say your domain authority is a 26 through 30, right? This is going to fall right around where you're at, but why are they getting 68,000 shares? Why, are, why do they have so many backlinks? Um, and what is this site all about? Right? So take, uh, take the truck. So we would click on take the truck and we can see that they're ranked for almost 32,000 organic keywords. They're getting almost a hundred thousand uh, visits per month, uh, domain authority of 27 and they have almost 3000 backlinks. So they're doing something right on their site. So this is where you can come in here and now we're going to be looking at their website, right? And we can come through here and just say organic keywords. And this is all of the organic keywords. Again, you can do this in Ahrefs or any of your other tools that allow you to, to do this uh, deep level analysis of keyword research, right? But once we come through here, this is where you're going to be able to see, okay, they're at position five there. They're at position one right here. So camp organization, truck bed camping, and this is going to be uh, where you could even come through here and go SEO difficulty. And this is what they're ranking for that has an SEO difficulty of 35 or lower. And look at all of the, their top 10 results. Uh, this is why they're getting so much traffic. So this is going to give you a list of keywords. Then you can go ahead and go like this. You can add it to a list or you can just copy it to a clipboard or you can export this to a CSV and get all of these keywords right here. And the, this is, um, if you want to reverse engineer a site that is, you know, lower or the same as you, but they're doing way better than you. This is how you get all those keywords um, to go after, right? So really, really good method. Finally, you can go over to rank IQ real quick. And what I would do is uh, we would just come over here to the uh, keyword library and um, they have different sections. I'm sure they have camping section in here. We can also just go camping. And then we have all, all the keywords right here that rank IQ has their own algorithm that they go out and find all these keywords that should be very easy for you to rank for. You're going to come through here, look at camping. There's just, there's 24 pages of camping keywords in here. Um, and then we can go out and run a report um, and then uh, use the tool to help us optimize for that. And we shouldn't even have to get backlinks um, and we should be able to rank for this content as well the lower the competition level right here um, also has to do with the domain authority um, for that keyword for the top um, 30 websites. So the lower the competition, the higher chance you have of ranking without backlinks as well. 
Let's go on to our third tip. So you can uh, get an aged domain, right? There's multiple sites that you can go out and get aged domains. Um, this will give you a head start. And if you pick up a good legit domain, then you'll be able uh, out of the sandbox in just a few weeks and it won't take three to six months, right? So there's, you just get a jump start really. Um, and which is really nice, right? If you want to see faster results, then uh, you can't go wrong with an age domain. Um, you can get some authority immediately instead of waiting. So there's different sites that you can use. Um, here's a sign up form uh, to use uh, ODYS or Otis uh, right here uh, to and uh, to get an age domain. Now these are going to be expensive. They're going to be between uh, $1,000 and $5,000 to pick up sites, but they're um, fully vetted and look at, they have almost every uh, niche that you can, uh, that you're looking at. Um, and I don't know uh, what the, let's see like right here, there's no pricing uh, right here for a membership. Like, I don't know if it costs money for a membership for this site or not. I don't have it, but doing my research, this is one of the top ones that did come up and so forth. So I just wanted to give this um, out there for you guys. You guys can go and check it out um, and do even further research. Like I said, I don't know if the membership costs money. Um, I do know that the, the, the domains that you get in here are fully vetted and they are going to cost you, um, you know, probably a minimum of a thousand dollars. Um, you can find them for up to $5,000 and they care. And then it just goes up from there. Um, so that's a good site. You can come over here. There's a sir links a lot, um, in some other programs that I've taken. Um, I've heard good things about this site for, uh, link building and getting age domains as well. So you could use, uh, go check this one out as well. And then there's another one, SEO dot domains. Uh, here's another one. This one actually ranks number one when you type in age domains. Um, so this one's uh, most likely a reputable uh, company as well. And then finally, uh, if you want to do it for free, but you're going to want to have confidence that you can go out and do the research to make sure that these are not spammed the site that you're interested in is not spammed um, and um, has a good backlink profile. You can go to expireddomains.net and you can use this site as well to um, come up with. Now they're going to have a different database than the other sites as well. And most likely a lot of the others, those other sites are not going to be on this site, but this is another resource and this is a free resource for you. So uh, definitely uh, don't discount the age domain uh, strategy, but this does cost money. So it's not for everybody, uh, but these are the strategies that you can use in order to get traffic and to give you the best chance of getting traffic to your site without actually paying for backlinks or doing a lot of manual tedious backlink building. One final tip is number four, link bait articles. This content is worthy of going viral and having many sites linked to it naturally, right? Because it is really good content. Giant listicles like 100 best affiliate programs or uh, reference guides, like everything you need to go on your first camping trip and um, make it a 4,000 words or more post. Um, and just an example right here, things you need when camping. Um, look at this camping checklist and essentials, right? So that it has a uh, 2.2, 3,000 referring domains to it. Um, and then the uh, links right here, 16,000 links, and it's got a domain authority of 49. You can go and check that one, uh, this one out real quick. And I'll go and just see how big this um, post is. It's not the biggest post in the world, but look, they have some really, really good graphics right there. Um, and this, um, this site has a lot of authority, so that's probably why it's ranking. But you can see right here, what are the 10 things you need for camping? Uh, right here, and then we can go and just check out another site. So uh, imagine going out and um, I would do a control A on this right click and just see how many words. So um, only 1200 words. Um, so you could probably go out and write a 3000 word post and make this, you know, the 30 um, camping essentials that you need, right? That definitely need, you need more than 10 things when you're going camping. Uh, make a list of 30 and do a better job than these guys did. And then you would have a chance to actually rank for this as well. And then people will want to link to a high quality uh, article on your, on a site. Um, and when people will just uh, want to link out to it naturally, you're going to get backlinks for free, right?
So this was my little uh, tips uh, video on how to get SEO traffic without backlinks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, um, consider hitting that like button. It just helps out a little bit. And make sure you subscribe to LearnWire for more uh, tips and tricks. I know a lot of you do SEO and a lot of you um, are building, creating content and building websites. And so that's why I'll probably bring a little bit more uh, tutorials and videos like this to the channel. Meanwhile, I will continue to do software reviews for you guys. I'll see you in the next video.